My name is Sheila Ellis. I am the founder and creator of Ritual Planner. This video is to walk you through our 2025 Ritual Tarot Planners. We have a lot of updates and changes in this year's planners. So even if you are a past planner user, please watch this video and see what we've updated for this year's version. So you can see here are covers. We have the three card version and then the one card version covers. Then when we get into the inside of the planner, all of the pages between the two versions are identical except for the daily pages. So here you can see that we have the three card version daily pages where each day of the week you can pull up two three cards. Um, this is perfect if your practice involves pulling like mind, body, spirit, or past, present, future, um, maybe an energy of the day, and then what you can focus on and avoid. Um, and just because there are three card slots here, don't feel like you have to pull three every single day. There's nothing wrong with pulling only one or two if that's what you're called to do on any given day, but it does give you space to pull up to three every day. And then you also have space for an affirmation, um, your card for the week to look at your whole week as a whole. And then of course, those daily spaces. In the one card version, you can see here that it's a little bit different. We still have space for your affirmation, but in the week ahead, you can pull three cards for the week ahead rather than one. And then every day you have room for a single card and then also um, room to put down maybe your agenda or your to-do list. It's also excellent for listing your gratitude every day in that what today brings space. Now, like I said, the rest of the pages throughout the planner are identical between the two versions. There is no difference at all. So we'll begin every month with our monthly calendar that involves um, all of the astrological transits and all of the lunar phases for every single day. Um, this year, we have added in those last few days of the previous month and the first few days of the coming month so that when you're looking at that, you can see entire weeks at a time. Um, and then we also have what sign the sun is in in the zodiac and then we have the full moon and new moon every month listed there as well as on the calendar um, squares themselves and then last month and the month to come so that you can get a, a snapshot of those dates um, there's room then for important notes every month and um, again just to highlight that all of those lunar phases are on there so at a glance you can spot where the full moon and the new moon are going to fall then the next page in every monthly spread is this journaling and your month ahead tarot spread. So first we have space for you to take a snapshot of where you are in your life, how you wanna feel, what you're looking forward to, what your intentions are for the month. You can list out your goals um, and priorities and what you need to let go of. At the end of the month, you can come back and jot down what the highlights were of every month. And then there's also a habit tracker there so you can keep track of what is really important to you that you do on a daily basis. Then on the right hand side, this is one of the first big changes um, for the 2025 planners is we've kind of updated the month ahead spread layout to really optimize the amount of writing room for you. Um, you still have all six of your cards, your energy for the month, love, money, work, health, spirit, with a quick little explanation of what you can be thinking about as you're pulling those cards, and then um, optimized journaling space for you. Uh, so here's just kind of a quick look then of how that looks like when you start filling it out. All right, so the next up are the full moon and the new moon pages. So we have updated these to include uh, just a bit of information about the moon. Um, so what is a full moon useful for? How can you harness that energy in your life? As well as specifically in the sign that it is in. So we give you a little bit of information to um, ingest at each moon. And then you still have room for all of your notes and then the full moon spread. Again, we've kind of 
updated the layout to really optimize the amount of space that you have to write your reflections when you pull your cards. And then the new moon page is the same. We've given you all of that information again. So you can really kind of uh, take in a snapshot of what the moon is um, bringing into your life and influencing and then uh, adding your notes and doing your spread. The year ahead spread then is in both planners, of course. This is at the very start of the year, at the very beginning of your planner. You can pull all your cards for the entire year at once and journal them all out, or you can absolutely do them just one at a time. You know, maybe at the very end of December, you pull that energy of the year card and you pull your card for January. And then at the end of January, you come back and pull your card for February or do them all at once in a big kind of sit down tarot ceremony ritual. Um, and then just check back throughout the year and see how all of that is playing out in your life. We also included, once again, the personal birth chart, because when is it not handy to have that at your fingertips, right? Um, I feel like I need to reference mine a million times every day as I read little tidbits about what's going on in the stars. Um, so it's so nice just to have it right at hand. You can um, draw out your chart itself, note all of your planets, your houses, elements and modes. Um, so you can kind of look at where you have a heavier influence and then all of your aspects within your birth chart as well. And then of course, as always, we have a fully loaded reference section at the beginning of the planner. You've got your tarot card meanings cheat sheet that just has keywords for those quick hits of uh, inspiration when you're a little stuck on a card or if you're just beginning. We also have the astrological reference guide included that covers all of the planets, houses, signs, aspects, modes, what have you, as well as those tarot astrology correspondences. And then we also have the 2025 moon phases, just a really quick little chart here so you can see at a glance exactly what the moon is doing all year long. And then some inspiration for three card spreads, as well as questions to ask your cards. So that is this year's 2025 Ritual Tarot Planner, the three card version and the one card version. I hope that this video has been really helpful to not only tell you the differences between the two, if you're kind of wavering as to which one to get, but also just to truly explain what is involved and included in this planner. Um, I hope that it was helpful and that you thoroughly enjoy the year ahead and your experience with the Ritual Planner. <laughs>